let's discuss what is basically kanban board kanban board is one of the information radiator that is used in the project management now it is also one of the methodologies and we actually used with scrum and we called it scrum ban okay let's focus into the kanban as a simple it is just an information radiator with minimum three things in it to do in progress and completed something like that okay so that makes it as an information radiator into it now kanban has some speciality of this thing and the speciality of the kanban board is basically kanban board limits the work in progress okay kanban board limits how much work you can do work in progress and it helps you to identify bottleneck right the pain which is the biggest pain i would even say that this helps you a lot just like the pareto rule what are the biggest pain where your work needs to be done where you need to improve your systems and where you need to see how things can be improved for the betterment okay it also establish a flow into it flow means that your work does not stop just in just time the things are continuously moving in that direction and of course it is built on the pull system instead of push system it works that once the previous user story has been completed then you work on the next user story and you keep on doing that keep on doing that let me give you a little bit a better picture graphic of kanban board okay so let's say this is a kanban board i put it a little different this time to do it as in progress what we are testing right now and how much the work has been completed so these are the some columns of the uh, kanban board the team said some user stories let's say a b c d e f g h okay now initially in order to visualize the workflow which is a for number one rule that we must visualize okay this visualization have been done now we want to limit how much work we can do at one time let's put the limit okay let's say we have three uh, two uh, uh, developer and one tester okay so now in this column only two user stories can come and on this column only one user stories are come so a is pulled here now b is pulled here okay i can remove this a and b okay once a is completed a will be pulled here it is being pulled here since now the work in progress limit is 2 i can pull the next one here now the c will start working on b and c so a is there i am going to remove it for easiness i am going to remove a b and c from here now let's say b is completed here here comes a interesting thing here comes the beauty of the kanban system since the team is still working on a they are testing on it but the b is completed here one developer will become idle and the entire system will actually stop the entire system will actually stop making it stop the reason being that here you have a bottleneck because of the testing part because of the testing arena because the work that you are doing in the testing now your work has been stopped this is the beauty of kanban system that you can identify where the bottleneck is maybe we need to uh, put more tester here maybe we need to improve the flow maybe we need to look at that how things can be done this is the beauty of the kanban system kanban system was actually actually made by japanese to control uh, like number of flow or number of persons going in a garden okay that's how it was made even if you go to any uh, bank okay they gave you a token okay and then you can see which token number is working right now right do you remember put in the chat box do you remember going to the bank and uh, the, you get your token number or if you go to the mcdonalds you can see actually your uh, food number your food is being prepared it is ready things like that that is what 
the purpose of kanban system is its purpose is to visualize the flow you can consider it as a billboard sign board showing you the your progress your status there are five rules that i would recommend if you can understand the number one is visualize the workflow okay like put them into the notice board visualize them you must be able to see that that is the number one thing about kanban second thing is put work in progress limit how much work you do you think uh, you can do now this limit a work in progress limit can be changed along the way okay it can be changed along the way but at least you set the limit in the first way and you can keep on changing the team can keep on changing it depending upon that till they reach the next stage which is get a flow stage like flow stage mean uh, once one is completed you keep on moving you keep on moving you keep on moving you don't stop at all that is kind of a flow stage you manage the flow then you make the processes okay the work should be done in this way uh, so that we can work into that the flow should not stop first you set the flow once the flow is established you manage the policy that you don't have to change it every single time one time we make it that's it we don't have to take that decision and of course one of the principle of agile is we need to improve so that we can get better and evolve okay improve collaboratively and evolve along the way so this is all about kanban system okay one more way where the kanban system is actually used is basically in uh, value stream mapping which is the purpose is in lean for sure to remove the waste what do we do in uh, in that we consider lead time as well as cycle time for that if you just want to visualize what is lead time i'll use a different color here okay lead time is when the user story was requested let's say the user requested g to complete it when it was requested to when it was completed once again when the user story was requested to one when it was completed this is called lead time so lead time is basically total time total time of a user story when it was requested to when it was completed cycle time is very amazing cycle time is actually when the team started working on to it and when it was completed cycle time is when the team started requesting it and when it was completed so that is your cycle time so what do you think which one is greater lead time or cycle time a question for you i hope now with this video the kanban is clear for you forever okay and i hope i can add value in this preparation and if for sure if you want to join my program you can always contact me and my number is very accessible okay same number is on whatsapp and see you at the other side when you become pmp thank you very much